Violence is steadily ticking upward in Little Rock, and today the mayor voiced what the city is doing to get help to the victims of crimes. Fox 16's Gary Burton Jr. is live in Little Rock, and Gary, I guess you can admit here that there are some good resources out there that can help victims. Donna, yes, it is. Like the one behind me, this is the Center for Healing Hearts and Spirits that's been here on Chester Street for 20 years to help victims and families that have been affected by violent crimes. Now, this past weekend, Little Rock saw a double homicide. 36-year-old Martina Edmondson and 38-year-old Eric Rounds were killed on Scotty Court. Now, Mark Mosley was arrested in connection, and they marked the 11th and 12th homicide of 2022. Now, it's centers like this one here that are working closely with families who have lost a loved one to violence to not only provide assistance with mental health, funeral services, and finding shelter, but to make sure that justice is being left behind. They tell us, you know, a lot of times, uh, no one is working on our case. And I say, yes, you are. And you have a direct connection, if you want to, to the detectives, to the police department, through us. We will make sure that connection happens. And Joyce Rayner, the executive director who you just heard from, after her son was killed 21 years ago from a violent crime, she mentioned that for those who have lost someone while helping them with a plan, it's about attacking the anger to prevent retaliation. Now, victims can call RPD's Victim Services Helpline at 501-918-HELP. Reporting live in Little Rock, I'm Gary Burton, Jr., Fox 16 News.